Elevate your Shopify pages and sections with interactions. Within the interactions panel, you can enable triggers and add animations to any element on your page. We have three different triggers in the product. I'll first explain what they are and then we will implement them. With mouse hover, you can enable a trigger when a user hovers over a certain element with their mouse. With mouse press, you can enable a trigger when someone presses on a certain element on your page and we have focused. Each trigger has different properties which enable you to edit the animation that occurs when a visitor has interacted with a certain element. For this example, let's click on the mouse hover trigger and as you can see, we have different properties that we can edit. Opacity, scale, offset, fill, and if we click on add property, we see even more properties to create the animation that you want. We have now selected an image, but if we select a different element, let's say a text element, we will have different properties that we can edit. Now let's work with these different triggers and start with mouse hover. For this image, we've already selected the mouse hover effect. And what they want to accomplish is that when someone hovers over this image, we will show a different image. And to do this, we head over to fill, go to image, and then select this image right here. If we click on preview in the bottom right here, what we are basically able to see is the animation that we're creating. So we get a live preview of whatever we're doing right here. Of course, we can also preview the entire page and then see the animation right here. But whenever you're creating the actual animation, it's nice to preview right here so you don't have to preview the entire page all the time. This actually looks about right and we can do one more thing. Whenever you select a certain trigger, you can edit the animation and we have a few different options. We have ease in out and linear. Ease in out specifies a transition effect with a slow start, which will overall look smoother. And we have linear, which specifies a transition effect with the same speed from start to end. Then we have speed, which allows you to edit the speed of the animation and delay. Now let's work with the next trigger, which is the mouse press. For this trigger, I want to work with this button right here. The button is selected and now let's add the trigger mouse press. What I want to create is that when someone presses on this button, the opacity decreases. So let's change the opacity to 80%. There we go. If you preview, it will look like this. This looks all right. Now let's also preview the entire page. Here we have the hover effect. And now if we click on this button, as you can see, the opacity decreases. Another animation that I would like to add to this page is that whenever someone hovers over the icon right here, it moves to the right. To accomplish this, let's select the icon element and then add the trigger, mouse hover and change the offset on the X axis to eight. If we click on preview, we see that the icon moves to the right and that's what I want. Let's preview the entire page and see what happens. Whenever I hover over the icon, it indeed moves to the right. The only problem is that in reality, this will not happen since the icon is so small and it only moves when we hover exactly over the icon. And what I would actually like is that whenever I hover over the entire button, the icon will also move to the right. And to accomplish this, we need to work with group triggers. So let's go back to the page and then we select the element that this icon is in, which is the button. Then in the button, let's go to interactions. We add the mouse hover effect. And what we basically enable is that with any other element within this button, which also has the mouse hover effect, the effect will trigger from the entire button and not the individual element. So right now, if we go back to the icon element to interaction, we can see that the mouse hover will trigger from the entire button. So if we preview again, we can see that indeed, wherever we move over the button, the icon will also move. And these are the foundations of interactions. I hope this video gives you a good understanding of this feature 
and let's get creative.